before we begin, please subscribe and click that notification bell for instant updates. I've turned on my Nikon camera and I've set it on to manual setting this time. So when I now press the white balance option at the back here and look into the camera at the front, it will show that the white balance is automatic. So you can use the dialer at the back over there and press it to change where you want it to go. So that's the thing. Um, you can change it from here for quick results. However, uh, let's go into the display settings and see what these actually mean. So if I was to press the menu bar and go to where it says uh, white balance, this is where I'll change any of the white balance uh, settings on my camera. Press on OK. And as you can see in there, there is some function. So if you don't feel like managing it yourself, you can press it on auto and it will do it automatically depending on what the scenario is. However, this being a machine, computer, whatever you want to call it, it might not give you the desired result that you want. So you might want to change it manually to suit your shooting environment. So to do that, again, going into white balance, you can go and choose the incandescent mode, which is basically the light bulb, the normal conventional light bulb that we have. If you go onto it by pressing OK, it will then give you an option that it will give you a gradient square where you can go and manually fine tune where you want this to be. And if you want to come back again, mode light. So if you go in there now, it will give you an option to choose between which light you want to choose. So depending on the light you're shooting in, either sodium vapor, warm white, white fluorescent or whichever that is, simply press on right to go and see the gradient option again and you can choose whichever settings you want to if you want to go more towards the yellow side that's how you go with more towards the red zone more towards the blue zone and more towards the green zone so you can do that from here as well so let me press ok in the center and if you were to go and shoot in direct sunlight that's when you will do it if you're outdoor and there is sunlight coming in this will give you a better option as well you might have a shorter picture outdoors and you might have ended up with a white um, sky so if you were to change this setting it will then recognize the camera will know what light is hitting its uh, lens and it will do the job for you sorry it's gone off again um, so that's direct sunlight same again the arrow button goes to the right and gives you an option to fine-tune if you're using flash this is when you would um, choose this option if it is cloudy um, you would choose this option and if you are shooting in a shade, let's say you're outdoors, but however, there's a build, big building on the left hand side and the sun is also behind it on the left hand side. So you'll get a shade. And if a subject is on the shade and if you were to put your settings in direct sunlight, you might not get a better result. So if you put this setting into shade, it will then give you a better result. Um, going back again, then the last one, but not the least, uh, is the choose color temperature. You can manually change the color temperature uh, of where you are shooting so uh, depending on what environment you are shooting in again all the different light sources emit different uh, type of lights so depending on sunlight light from the bulb light from the fluorescent lamp uh, light from a led bright light in a stadium or whatever that is uh, you might want to change these settings if you are not getting the result you can go onto this setting uh, choose your light setting as you can see there are different options uh, the higher you go the powerful the light and vice versa and you can also go and do your fine-tune changing so now it's in 5560k you can go and increase it to 6250k or according to your preference and you can shoot it from here as well I hope this video helped guys. This was a quick tutorial on how to change the white balance settings on your Nikon camera. And please check out my next video which is going to be how to set up the preset shooting mode under the white balance so that you know where uh, you're going to be shooting to get a better result. So keep tuning into the channel and please uh, use the link or browse functions next to this video to find out the next video which would be shooting in the pre mode within the white balance setting. Thank you very much for watching guys. Take care. Bye. Thank you very much for watching, guys. If this video helped anyone, please subscribe to the channel.